Yes, YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between the 2020 iPad Pro versus the 2022 iPad Pro. So let's get straight into it. If you're looking at the new 2022 iPad Pro next to the 2020 model, you can't really tell them apart. The size is a little bit thicker, but the same. The look is the same. The camera on the back looks the same. In fact, bro, it's not until you turn it on and are using the new model that you can see a difference. The new mini LED, while it's not really new as it was on the 2021 model, but if you're coming up from the 2020 model like myself, that is the only visual difference you'll be able to actually see. For me though, the screen alone isn't really a good enough reason to upgrade from the previous 2020 model. But that being said, it's definitely a nicer screen to look at. The mini LED means the blacks are really black and that makes all the colours pop out. If you're like me and you use your iPad a lot at night to watch movies, using it side by side next to the 2020 model, you can easily see the difference. I'm a big fan of OLED screens and the mini LED is so close to an OLED, if you didn't know it wasn't, you might think it was an OLED panel. On top of that, it has ProMotion like the 2020 iPad, so all in all it's a great screen. Let's talk about the cameras for a sec. So nothing has changed when we're talking about the cameras. However, the iPad does now shoot video in ProRes 4K 60 frames per second, but bro on a level, who's using an iPad to shoot videos? Weird guys. So let's talk accessories for a sec. I've been using my 2020 iPad Magic Keyboard on my 2022 model, and it works as it would on my old model. So if you're upgrading, you can get away with keeping your older keyboard and save yourself some money there. In fact, all my old cases fit it too. The other accessory I have is the Apple Pencil. So the only new feature on the 2022 model that isn't on any other iPad is the new hover feature. Using the Apple Pencil, and for me this is nothing special but I'm kinda glad it's here. It does help when making notes, but like I said, it's nothing special. If you use the iPad for art and things like that, then yeah, you will definitely benefit the most from this new feature, but as for me, personally, I just think it makes the iPad a little bit cooler when navigating the UI. Let's compare some of the specs. I won't bore you by reading them all out. I'll just highlight some of the key areas that you should pay attention to. Of course, the Apple 2020 has got the older chipset, the A12Z Bionic chip, and the price, you can pick these up for around 650 now. Whereas the new iPad Pro 2022, of course, has got Apple's new chipset, the M2, and the price, well, for this particular model anyway, I paid about 1600 for it. So using a new iPad Pro day to day, have I seen any difference in my workflow in any way? In short, no I haven't. I mean it's good for everything I use it for, but so is my 2020 model. I think this upgrade was just a stopping point for where Apple are going with the new iPad line. Maybe they'll bring out an update and some new software in the near future that make it possible to really use the M2 chip on the iPad to its full potential. Final Cut Pro would be nice. But for now, when you take into account the cost, I mean this model I'm using is the 256GB version for around 1600 you can get a new MacBook Air for around that price, so from a cost standpoint it's not worth upgrading from the 2020 model onwards. If you've got an older model and money isn't a problem, maybe then, me personally, I'd wait. Save your money and wait for a year or two and grab the next generation iPad Pros in my opinion. I'm likely to send my new model back and wait to see what Apple do. I hope we can finally get an iPad that can be used as a sidekick to editing videos as carrying a new MacBook Pro around is not as nice as chucking the iPad in my bag. But as of right now, it's a powerful, lightweight email and document alternative to my MacBook Pro with the option to write some notes on the screen if needed. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.